Chinese New Year started many thousands of years ago, long before even I was born, and it's still celebrated across the world, including here in Liverpool. Chinese New Year is a time to enjoy being with family and friends, for remembering ancestors, for feasting and for giving gifts of red envelopes of lucky money. There are many ancient customs and stories that surround Chinese New Year, and this story, Nian the Horrible Monster, is one of my favourites. Once upon a time, a long time ago, there was a monster named Nian. And one thing that Nian loved to do was to visit a little village in China each year. Why do you think he loved visiting the little village? Let me tell you. Nian loved to visit the little village in China each year just to frighten everyone that he saw. Nian thought it was great fun. Nian liked to do this just as each new year began, just to remind people that he, Nian the Horrible, was still around. Each year after scaring all of the people, Nian could hardly wait for the new year to roll round again so that he could scare them all again. You can see why everyone thought he was a horrible monster now, can't you? Does Nian still do this today? Nian probably would have carried on frightening the villagers, but one day, just by luck, one of the people in the little village was wearing a red top, and when Nian jumped out to scare him, Nian took one look at the red top and, ah, Nian ran away. Nian had startled the person from the village so much that the villager dropped the heavy metal buckets that he had been carrying. The buckets bounced down the hill behind Nian, hitting every rock in its path. The buckets made a horrible noise. Nian was very, very frightened and kept looking over his shoulder and began running even faster to get away from the scary red person and that horrible noise. The person from the village told everyone of his fabulous luck, how his red tunic had scared Nian and how the noise of the bucket had sent them running away even faster. This was very good news for the people of the village. All year long the villagers prepared for the next new year, and on New Year's Eve, when Nian appeared for the following year, everyone in the village ran for the red banners, the lanterns and the loud rattles that they had made. They lit their lanterns, shook their rattles, waved their banners, and, as they had hoped, Nian ran away. Even better, the villagers never, ever saw him again. Now that is why people in China believe that the colour red is good luck, and why all of the children and many adults shake rattles and light firecrackers and make all kinds of noise on Chinese New Year's Eve. It's to scare away evil spirits and even Nian, just in case he's still hanging around. I hope you enjoyed one of my favourite stories. And if you get the chance, try to go to a Chinese New Year celebration near you. I love going to the one here in Liverpool. <laughs>